photograph in which we were in love, caught in your eyes, waiting for the sunrise. I barely even knew who you were. What did you do? I didn't care, 'cause you were perfect. I swear. But somebody told me that it's over. I know. very cold it's like 11 but uh, we are dressed really warm with our rubber boots on and that and this is our like place we're gonna hang out <laughs> and we're gonna sleep in the Jeep tonight gonna go for a walk soon. I'm kind of curious to see where this trail goes. Sleep is all set up. Nice comfy bed, which I'm so excited because it's raining out and it's cold and we'll be nice and cozy in the Jeep tonight. Having fire problems because of the rain. Good morning, this is day two of our Algonquin trip adventure. I'm making eggs right now. I've already cooked the bacon. Um, we went to bed early last night because of the rain. Uh, it was uh, it was a little bit damp um, in the truck and moist. Uh, our deep sleep Jeep uh, mattress was uh, was a hit. We were able to sleep all right. Might put something on it for slipping though. Uh, we went to bed at like 8 o'clock and uh, we watched Friday the 13th and ended up falling asleep while watching it. <laughs> so yeah, we're not big partiers, but uh, yeah, we're excited about today um, to explore in that. Uh, John is uh, trying to light a fire, but it's having all kinds of problems. He's tried everything, so I think because everything is so wet here. Um, if I were to come back here, I'd probably come back in July because it is, it feels like the end of October here. That's what it feels like. It's so cool. I feel like I'm like in winter or something. So, uh, maybe it's just a fluke that it happened to be cold, but no, you can kind of tell the fall colors are changing here too. You can see some colors in the trees. So... Um, so I'm going to be making lots of lots of videos of our adventure and we're supposed to be renting a canoe today so bonus <laughs> bye for now so we figured out where that trail goes down there and it goes to a little tiny beach um, that's basically for us and 
the people that were there. They ended up leaving. Um, that was a family. Uh, I guess they left because of the rain. Um, it was it was like shit yesterday. But uh, yeah, it doesn't. It's not far from the water, and uh, yeah. So today we're hoping to rent a canoe down the road because we heard we could rent a canoe and uh, go check the lake out if we don't get lost. So gonna do that. This is not raining. This is our our everything right here. This space is like our Harry Potter palace. Got all our stuff in here, and when I cook, it's nice and warm. Um, our bins, these are our racing bins. Um, we made these when we were gonna do the, the ultra, and we decorated them the way we wanted them. And we have these little swirly things, and so it swirls off. So what I've been using these for is the food. So what I did was I did an M and M, uh, M and M bag. Put all our frozen stuff in there, and just stuffed the ice on top. And all that. And there is our dry food. Um, because for bears and stuff, we did bring these in the car with us last night because the ranger said. It'd probably be best, so we just stuck them in the front seat, and they worked really well because they're so they're so tidy, and it fits all our food in. So it worked out really good. We are making cinnamon rolls on the campfire. Usually, uh, stick it in with a stick, but I'm trying it on the little grill. rocks too. <laughs> I'm so excited that the fire has finally been started. Oh, this is, this looks beautiful. Oh yeah, I see that. Oh, what a perfect, this is like a perfect spot right here. Okay, it doesn't get any better than this. Wow. After getting so wet yesterday and battling the cold right now, it's just like, looking at this is just so worth it. It's the old railway. Let's run all around here. Next about, if you were to hike it, it's something like 50, it was about 50 K, I think, something like that. This is where you go to uh, pick up your canoe. Uh, we were hoping to rent one, but that's not going to happen. Um, we should have did that before we came. We have no internet out here, so we can't obviously rent one now. But that's okay. There's lots of stuff for us to do, and we also have our blow-up boat which we won't go too far out in the lake with because uh, in case it deflates and we can't swim back. No, we could swim back, but it might be very cold. So. So these places here might have been here since the late 1800s for the employees of the logging. The yeah, because that's what they said. The, the employees, the rangers live here now. This old house. We got hydro. Well, no. 
It's like falling down. Where? Used to. You can tell it's all sideways. It's kind of creepy. Huh. So we come to get rid of our garbage. We have to get rid of it every night um, before we go to bed. So uh, it doesn't attract animals. We also have to sort everything as well, which is a good thing. Good for the environment. John is on his way to pick me up. We are going to see the... Uh, the crater path um, it's about a 2k hike it's not very far uh, but we have to drive there it's like 7k we would walk it but it's just I don't know we're walking all over today we're just trying to get as much done as we can because we're only here for two days and where is he John oh John oh where are you coming around the corner the Jeep is so dirty and it stinks inside. It doesn't smell like new Jeep anymore. Here he comes. Oh yeah. I love our Jeep. <laughs> so this is Brent Crater Trail. So what's the story behind this crater, babe? Like, do you remember what the story is? And apparently this crater hit three million years, or this uh, meteorite hit three million years ago, and this is where it hit, and this is the create crater that it created. So that's where we're we're off to now. This would be uh, quite the trail to run on, eh? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Whoa. This is us checking out the Brent crater site where the meteorite hit millions of years ago. This is the trail we've got to manage. This is just the beginning. Well, what? I didn't bring any water with us. Do we need water, you think? Yeah. Should I go back and get some? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's 2K, but they're saying that it takes like an hour and a bit. Okay, it's not but I, I don't think it's going to take us that long. Okay. This is gorgeous. Look at those trees. So pretty. Oh, they're after my ass. You can go that way. Uh, we have to go that way. That's what the sign says. Oh God. Okay. Shit. Situation is like really bad right now. The <coughs> getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, Do literally. You my... Do you want my net? No, you can keep your net because you're bald. Ah, they're just they're eating me everywhere. John was putting his net on, and I swear he had like 20 stuck on his head. The mosquitoes are so bad. Like, I don't know how far this is like 2K in. I don't know. We're going to get eaten alive though. It's not going to be good. All I want to do is see this really cool crater and I'm going to get eaten alive while doing it. This is the lookout. So I'm guessing we just did the, the trail... of the crater. What the hell is that? That's a black fly making that noise, isn't it? 
So we basically well, get lost, black fly. Have uh Okay, it was I'm gonna be serious. This trail was really cool to do, but oh my god. We are get, we I've never seen Bugs. so many mosquitoes in my life. Bugs. I was yelling most of the way. It's really cool here though. Really neat. So basically this is this is where it hit, I guess, all this area and we just did the trail for it. So cool. Yeah, four. <gasps> That's pretty. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what did you think of it, John? I mean, I had my mosquito net, I was covered up. You were having a freak out. You were very uh, panicky. But I think if you get if you get all covered up. Rugged trail, that's for sure. The trail was awesome. Uh, mosquitoes work. Yeah, I was getting panicky because I there was just so many. I was being swarmed by so many bugs, and I was getting eaten alive. I had my sweater on, my hat on, and I just started like getting panicky. I ended up like almost running, well, walking really fast and running all the way back to the car because I just couldn't take it anymore. She was plastered with. Me. Yeah. All I, over her black legs. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go check to see how bad I got eaten when I get back to the tent. So we are at our little private beach right here. There's only two campsites that actually use this beach. Uh, and uh, we just walked down to it. And we're gonna have a few drinks and just enjoy Innery. So awesome. Cheers. The reflection off the water is gorgeous. See that ripple? Mm -hmm. It's coming in closer. Yeah, it is. I see that. It's... Hmm. That was the line that was way, way, way back there. Maybe it's that blob from Creep Show. Creep Show. <laughs> it's coming to get us. What are we doing? We are making campfire dinner. We have asparagus and sausage uh, and some beans and some green pepper or red pepper. What's this? This garlic. Garlic? Sorry. This stupid bee after us. Ugh. And just putting some olive oil. Let's put some on there. Yum, 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 yum. Go away, bee. This and is not yours. The bee is attacking us. Look at that. And now I'm going to put some... Oh, I got some... Some stuff in some here. Some marshmallow? No. No. So this is all going to be wrapped up in the foil. Probably double wrapped. And then you just set it in the fire for... Well, set it in the coals for a certain amount of time. And it'll, I guess, essentially broil. Yeah. 
heat up and broil and it'll steam it too packing me so now i'm going to fold this up like a package <laughs> package come on be move so it's all packaged up and then we'll double it and i'm using i'm using the really strong tin foil flip it no, flip it over flip it over uh, there we go sort of seeing this color there we go yeah this is heavy duty foil that's one that's done we are cooking away. So we've yanked these out of the out of the fire, out of the coals. See what we got. Smells so good. Can you smell it? Can you mm -hmm. smell it? Can you smell what Susie's cooking? It was so easy. It took, what, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that? I guess so. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nah. So that's what we got there. And we have rice that's cooking as well. Warming the rice up. And then we're going to put the rice on the side. So, in a minute. Okay, the rice I didn't have to double. This is obviously John's because it's a lot. This is nice and warm. There you go. This supper basically took no time at all. I brought, I had everything ready from at home. There you go. Nice, healthy supper from camping right on the fire. That's it. It's 6 a.m. and it's raining really bad outside. It's been raining really bad since probably 3 a.m. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's lots of water outside. Um, looks like there's lots and lots of puddles. So, and I am very greasy and dirty because I've been camping. <laughs> um, I just want to pack up and go home. I'm, oh, there goes the light. Oh, I just want to pack up and go home. And that's what we're going to do as soon as it stops raining a little bit, if that's ever going to happen. So, yeah, I'm ready to leave. We are departing the park. We're almost uh, we're almost out of here, which takes about 45 minutes on a dirt road. 